Hey y'all, and welcome back to another episode of TZ Teaches. I'm Sir Pinkbeard, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to paint super accurately via only selected faces. So, what I mean by that is, let's say we have a nice little brown color, and I want to fill in the back of the monkey's head with that brown color. Well, right now, if I just use the fill brush, it's only going to fill in everything, because I don't have anything selected, and I don't have this extra little paint only what's selected turned on. However, if I undo that and then go into edit mode, what we see is all of the seams and the texture still applied. Now this is a really cool feature because all I have to do now is simply select the faces that I want to paint on. The way that you can do that if you want to paint on huge sections is just to grab a particular face and then hit Control L. So if I grab both of these and hit Control L, it's going to grab everything that is selected on that mesh island. And it's only going to select things on that mesh island because it counts seams as a breaking part. So then I would have to come in and manually select the other faces that maybe I wanted the brown to be on, which is just the back of the ear, back and sides of the ear. So I can go ahead and do that. And now that all of those faces are selected, if I go back into texture paint mode by hitting tab, there is a button up here next to texture paint mode that allows you to mask for painting only the faces that you have selected. So now you can check that box on and whatever you select in edit mode, you're allowed to paint on. So now if we fill in this nice brown color, it's only going to fill in the area that we have selected, which is an invaluable tool, especially when you're trying to paint really, really specifically and just kind of block out colors. Then when you're ready to pick a new section, just go into back into edit mode, hit control L to grab the next group of linked mesh and then go back to texture paint, change the color a little bit, and fill in that area. And so now our monkey head has been painted a little bit and it's looking pretty decent. It's not perfect, but the colors have been blocked out. And that's really what we were going for. And that's really what we were going for. So now there's a very crisp and clear line. And if I want to, I can go back into texture paint mode and then just kind of smear that up. I just have to turn off this. And if we blur the line a little bit here between what is and what, so it doesn't look perfectly cut out there, I think that's actually going to be a pretty good way to paint that. And so that's just something you can do. I wanted to point this out because it was a while before I found this tool. And so this is a really useful tool for painting really accurately, just face selection masking for painting. I'm Sir Pinkbeard. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.